Good morning. Today we are going to see the topic iron. Iron. The site of uh, absorption of iron is duodenum. Dietary form is Fe three plus that is ferric form. Absorbable form of iron is Fe two plus that is ferrous form. Transport form is transferrin. We have a uh, a intestinal cell and a blood vessel here. Intestinal cell has two surfaces. One is apical and basolateral surface. Heme is transported into the intestinal cell via heme carrier protein. Inside the intestinal cell, heme is uh, converted into Fe two plus, then to Fe three plus, and is stored as ferritin. We also have divalent metal transporter on the apical side, which transports Fe two plus into the intestinal cell. Fe three plus is reduced to Fe two plus by a ferric reductase. Now, the ferritin is stored inside the cell. Excess amount of Fe two plus is transported to the basolateral side via ferroportin, and that Fe two plus is converted into Fe three plus via hepatitin. The Fe three plus is transported in the blood by transferrin. Now we see iron absorption. Vitamin C and erythropoietin helps in incre uh, increasing absorption of iron. Tannin, phytate, oxalate, calcium, phosphate, and lead. All these decrease the iron absorption. Phytates and oxalate decrease the iron absorption because they form complex with iron. We see about hepcidin now. Source of hepcidin is liver. It is a negative regulator of iron. It decreases iron absorption. What it does is it internalizes the ferroportin present in the basolateral side of the intestinal cell. As we already saw, ferroportin helps in uh, transporting Fe two plus from the cell to the blood vessel. The mutation in hepcidin leads to iron overload. That is hemochromatosis. The distribution. Total body iron content is three to five gram. Seventy five percent of iron exists as hemoglobin, five percent as myoglobin, and fifteen percent as ferritin. RDA values are adult twenty milligram per day, pregnancy time fifty milligram per day, thirteen to fifteen year old kids. Should consume twenty to thirty milligram per day. The sources are leafy vegetables, goat, goat's liver, and jaggery. We see something important here: mucosal block theory. Every other mineral gets um, absorbed and depleted by the regulation, which is based on level of excretion. But here, iron is regulated at the level of absorption and not at the level of excretion. Iron stores when it gets depleted, absorption of iron is increased. When iron stores are adequate, absorption is decreased. Here we have normal condition where the intestinal mucosal cell contains ferritin. From Fe two plus to Fe three plus, and ferritin is stored inside the intestinal mucosal cell. During anemic condition, this ferritin is transported. The iron is transported in the form of transferrin in the blood vessel. And when you have adequate iron, there is desquamation of the mucosal cell, intestinal cell, and the iron is excreted. And we see transferrin here, which is a transport form of iron. Transferrin transports two ferric atoms. Total iron binding capacity of transferrin is four hundred milligram per hundred milliliter. Transferrin, and uh, it is a transportable form of iron, right? What it does is it has two receptors to bind to iron atom. So it binds two iron atoms. They get internalized, and the iron is taken by the reticulocyte for the heme. Synthesis. Excretion. Iron is excreted as we told earlier by a desquamation of the intestinal cells, and bleeding of any type leads to blood loss, hence iron loss and menstrual flow. 
and how iron is conserved in our body during rbc lysis we have hemoglobin and that hemoglobin forms a complex with haptoglobin and is conserved and the hemoglobin once again on breakdown forms globin and heme heme forms a complex with heme hemopexin that is the complex and is conserved and the heme is again broken down to porphyrin and iron and the iron forms a complex with transparent which is the storage form and is conserved now we see about iron deficiency anemia it is a microcytic hypochromic anemia causes are lack of absorption of iron hook form infestation repeated pregnancy chronic blood loss lead poisoning as we saw earlier that lead decreases the iron absorption and nephrosis where we have loss of all the conservable forms of iron that are haptoglobin hemopexin and transferrin clinical features when the hemoglobin level is less than 10 g there lead, that leads to apathy due to lack of oxygen achlorhydria due to atrophy of gastric epithelium and we have plummer wilson syndrome where iron deficiency anemia is a complication or it is a part of the syndrome sorry treatment oral supplementation 100 mg of iron with 500 mg of folic acid for pregnant women and 20 mg and 100 mg of folic acid in case of children we see about iron toxicity in case of iron toxicity more than 50 mg of iron taken orally leads to hemosiderosis hemochromatosis and banty siderosis Ban banty siderosis is a type of uh, um iron uh, toxicity occurring in case of banty tribe who have their uh, staple diet is corn and the corn contains less phosphate the less phosphate as we saw earlier phosphate decreases iron absorption phosphate is not present in these people in a required amount so there are a lot of iron accumulation and absorption cooking in iron vessels also leads to iron toxicity we see uh, two forms here hemosiderosis and hemochromatosis hemosiderosis is excess hemosiderin stored uh, as golden brown granules in spleen liver and bone marrow causes are repeated blood transfusion in case of hemophilic patients primary hemosiderosis is uh, because of hereditary autosomal recessive disease where gene hef1 is mutated in case of hemochromatosis total iron body content is more than 25 to 30 g in liver hemosiderin deposits leads to death of cells and cirrhosis in pancreas the pancreatic cell die and leads to diabetes deposits under the skin leads to yellow or brown discoloration treatment is phlebotomy iron chelation therapy using desferoxide there is something known as bronze diabetes which is a triad of cirrhosis hemochromatosis and diabetes thank you